Hi. Hey, topic video. This video will be about what we should do with AuthorTube and all these mother flipping AuthorTubers on this mother flipping plane. So if you're watching this, you know what AuthorTube is. It's a bunch of people that write books, self-publish, write short stories, who also make YouTube videos, vlogs, and talk to one another. And this is not a thing that is what YouTube is all about. I would propose that AuthorTube is a counterculture within uh, YouTube, and thus AuthorTube can't work off the rules that YouTube goes off. So first we're going to talk about AuthorTube, what they value, uh, what you should expect from AuthorTube, and probably the best way to use it. And then we're going to talk a little about YouTube analytics, what normal channels do, and we're going to explain why those are different, and maybe how we can use this understanding to grow and change as a community and as individuals trying to get the best and most out of this community and this resource of YouTube. YouTube is a streaming video site. It is most notable in my mind for the late, earlier this decade, there was a lot of vlogging, it was really big, that's what got me into YouTube and interested. Now there were several authors that vlogged, like John Green. Now from these vloggers, several of them vlogged about books, so they'd make book channels and do book reviews along with like movies and movies that related to books and mostly it all stemmed out of Harry Potter. Harry Potter is very integral to the beginning of vlogging. Now several of those booktubers were actually so interested in books and since they started so young they actually started writing and they made books and that makes some of the biggest book advice and writing videos on YouTube. They're actually not part of AuthorTube because they kind of predate it and they didn't found it and they're still very much so ingrained in booktube and they have their following so they don't really need to go around and look for advice they'll be it's cool when they give it but it's not their point of being now there are also several author channels that don't acknowledge authortube at all and they just give writing advice for people that want to write because you know uh, put going on video and on camera is a weird and unique thing and a skill that kind of develops as you go you see, I'm still bad at it. <sighs> what to do now? So there's a couple of big ones like that. There's Kavanaugh. Is she one? Is she? I don't remember now. Kate Kavanaugh is a really big channel that gives writing advice. Uh, John Green once in a while will. Now that his brother's written a book, Hank Green does, and they're both on Vlogbrothers channel. Ariel Bissett was a really big booktuber who then made a couple of book organizations and was really big in that community. Now she's transitioned to having a book and writing and trying to be freelance editing. I think maybe she's freelance editing. Maybe I'm wrong. She's still reaching out for entrepreneurs. And she's a pretty big channel and there's lots of good advice on there. So there is an audience for writing advice, but it is kind of saturated. AuthorTube is different. Why I joined it and why I think the expression is a bit odd is because it's more of a niche community group. In the month that I joined, I'm pretty sure a hundred other channels started their videos and did a newbie author channel and threw their hats into AuthorTube. Shout out to Sarah Scron Neber Author, which is how I did most of this research because there's so many people and YouTube's search engine is not great. Sarah tracks down as many authors as she can, does a video introducing them and saying what genre they write in. Her goal is to do it weekly, but she does it whenever she can, and most of the time she has 20 to 30 new entries, and she's been doing it this year. As far as I can tell, I, I'm estimating she's done over 300. It's... I didn't want to count everyone. Good job, Sarah. The point is there are a lot of people on AuthorTube, and though the biggest channels have like 100,000 some followers, they are not all going to join AuthorTube and they're not all going to follow us. Pretty much the market is very saturated. So the biggest AuthorTube channels within AuthorTube that acknowledge AuthorTube and talk about it and maybe are discussed within the circles are not big as far as YouTube is concerned. Even 100,000 subscribers, well that is a lot and there's a lot of people and I appreciate that, that does not translate to being a big YouTuber or being lucrative. So you should not expect to be famous off of YouTube, to get paid a lot of money, to get that big. What we should expect and want to do is to make friends. We do this by commenting, we do that subscribing, finding other small uh, author tubers in order to get advice from, ask advice, see what their experience is, share our writing journeys together is the best way we can use that. And once we're actually able to form friendships, like I can't say that I've formed a solid friendship with anyone though I'm kind of trying. Also it's kind of awkward like hey you want to be friends? 
maybe we can maybe that works maybe i'm done so there, by definition, our goal should be to get in, get in the information, get to know one another, and get writing. As authors, as writers, our goal is to write, and we need to be spending less time watching YouTube, because we can't be watching YouTube all day to keep up with the community, or be making YouTubes all day. So while making videos and trying to make okay content and informative content, and stuff that, and stuff that we can find useful and also shares ourselves with another as a vlogging kind of way, we also can't spend all day editing, watching videos, commenting. Now this differs a lot from YouTube, which the point of YouTube is to make people keep watching YouTube. YouTube wants every user to spend as much time on YouTube as possible. If we get people videos that get them information, don't waste too much time, and encourage them to write, writing time is not YouTube time. Like, I do put lots of music on this channel, and funky beats are great for writing, but they don't encourage other things that keep going. The algorithm has learned what videos make people keep watching more videos and keep seeing more ads on YouTube. The point of social media, every social media site, is to keep you on the site themselves. I learned this from John Green, who probably learned it from someone else. I'm trying really hard to cite my sources from now on. I'm gonna try to do that as I go. Sarah and John Green to thank. So being a niche appeal community whose point is not to stay on YouTube is not going to be friendly to the algorithm. So what we're gonna have to do as a community is search specifically for videos that we like. So our goal is different from the goal of YouTube. So we need to treat AuthorTube different than how other YouTube channels are treated and the advice that other YouTube channels take. We have to have a lower standard of video quality and a higher standard of interaction. So I'm gonna address some well-meaning advice that I got on my channel on my AuthorTube newbie tag. So, Bookstantinople, I don't remember your real name. I watched your video. I don't remember if you said it or not. But it took me a while to figure out how to say your YouTube name. <laughs> Bookstantinople gave me some very well-meaning advice that maybe I should have started using a brand new channel in order to do my AuthorTube thing instead of my second channel, which already has a bunch of like junk videos and music videos and stuff that I didn't want to put on my main channel. And this is good advice for new YouTube channels if they're trying to get big and get a really big audience. Part of why I started in AuthorTube and why I'm still doing it and why I'm also not going to make a new channel for this. Like I said before, this AuthorTube is a niche channel. It also does not depend on the algorithm in order to find stuff. The idea is to spend the least amount of time on YouTube as possible in order to find out information and get kind of friends and get encouraged to go write and do some more writing. I thought this would be a longer section, but I explained a lot of it earlier in the video, so uh, uh, thanks Bookstantinople. You've got a point if this was a regular video and not a niche for people to actually come and find and look for. So we've transferred into the things that we need to do to make our site and community better. So a lot of these things naturally happen. We naturally subscribe and like and comment more on videos that we like by people that are more conventionally attractive and we'd rather see talk. We also naturally formed cliques and groups and although technically AuthorTube is its own group because we're all here for one purpose, um, it's not a click-click because -click, it is so big that other groups are bound to break off. What I suggest we do differently is we make those groups official, go ahead and give our friend groups a name. But all the negative sides about human nature also exist. So when you go off and clicks, a lot of people sometimes can get left behind. And we need to go out of our way to include those people that either aren't getting views or don't have any subscribers or just don't feel like they're part of the community and make them feel included. And of course there's all of the growing community problems that exist that's existed everywhere else. There will be controversies, there will be uh, predators that are looking for vulnerable people, there are people that try to scam other people, and there will be people that try to profit off of this community. And writing advice and writing in general has been a huge hotbed of possible scams from vanity writers to fake contests to people offering information and self-help books. There's no one in specific. There's no, if you thought of an author tube, that's great, but I'm not talking about them because I'm talking about in general. The self-help community is full of scammers and grifters that promise an easy life if you just, you know, wish hard enough or follow their blank plan and can succeed as an individual. That will not work. It's nice if people follow that plan and happen to succeed, but the majority of people are just being grifted. So the majority of advice on AuthorTube should be free and should be available for people to have along with help and support and community. And how a lot of these scams can get countered is by communication 
not being closed off in our clique, and not like choosing one person to be a fan of and ignore all criticism of them. So Author 2 has been growing, and that's because uh, there might be a bit of drama, and drama happens to drive clicks and views and curiosity to a community. And the more attention that comes to a community, the more people that are like, yeah, I want to get involved with this community, regardless if that attention was positive or negative. So there's two controversies that happen. One person turned out to be some kind of predator, and that's the person who made the hot and sticky tag, which was a writing program that went over summer and there were some things and had a little risque name, and that was part of the fun with it, but also the person had some problems. And the other thing was the arcs are free, which is possibly the controversy that drew my attention to AuthorTube specifically, that there's a community of authors here. So technically, there's a net gain of more people in the community. Those things are not good, right? Right? Right. So how I propose we deal with that is, first of all, a show of good faith, because I do not want all these ideas coming from me. These are This is a starter for people to let go with. I've researched a bit. I've thought about communities, I've been on YouTube a while, I know how YouTube works. So the first show of good faith is that this video is going to be common... something? Common... commercial common? Anyways, you can download this video. I'm going to put a link to my Google Drive where I'll have a copy of this video. I, you might be able to download it from YouTube itself, and if you can do that then I'm just going to let YouTube handle it because video servicing is hard. Maybe I'll link it in a Dropbox or something too. Whatever is easiest. So you can get a copy of this video and you could put it on your channel. Hi, my name is Ray Richards. I'm a writer that writes I write fiction and several genres. If you're not seeing this on a Ray Richards YouTube channel, then this video has been uploaded by a person who cares about the community and wants to add more. And feel free to edit around and do things that you want to do. It may make me fart a few times. Here's a good one. So we should organize. And the aforementioned Sarah has done a lot of work to make sure that people that are new to the tags of the community are seen and supported and have a couple of views right away so that, you know, you don't feel like you're doing this for nothing. The next thing I want to get rid of is originators for tags. A lot of people say a tag and say so-and-so started this or this is so-and-so tag or this is so-and-so's writing group. I want to get rid of that. No one should be the sole originator of a tag. It should be part of the community. That way, if someone gets in trouble, we can still keep going. We don't have a fear of being associated with that person or endorsing that behavior if the tag comes from the community instead of the individual. So look at the comments in the description. On my videos, I have linked to all my Twitter and social medias. I think there should be a hashtag that gets going, and I don't want to start it. I want someone else to start it and someone to tweet me at the Sugar Ray, and I will then join in on it and I can put forward my continued two cents of what to do. And if there's something that a lot of people like or a lot of people want a section to do, I'll put that in the description, I'll put that in a comment for people to join and like. There is the dangers of distracting from writing this activity, so your goals will also be to get writing. I think that's everything I wanted to say. Hopefully this isn't a very long video because we want to spend less time on YouTube and more time writing. Go write. Maybe leave a comment and like it, but do it quick!